So I stumbled upon this video called Shiny Echoes Are Garbage Watering Waves by At Six Lake. Interesting name by the way. Now I have no clue why anyone in their right mind would have a problem with this system. Especially if you're a Genshin player, you know? But let's see what he has to say with this very hot take of his. Guys, I'm gonna be very transparent as possible when I say this, but shiny echoes are fucking garbage. And what? What's crazy about this is that most of you guys haven't talked about this issue yet. Now, with the release of Withering Waves on the horizon, launching on May 22, it's essential to start an honest conversation about it beyond the superficial praises it's going to receive it. Well, it's obviously gonna receive those praises because... <laughs> <laughs> Kuro Games has a track record of actually delivering on what they promise. A certain company, however, doesn't do that. So, because, you know, we waited so long for a competitor to finally pop up and uh, shake the competition a little, if you will. I don't see a problem in praising the game before it comes out. Especially because it's the only game like Genshin. Tower of Fantasy completely fucked up, you know? They are different. This is literally just Genshin 2.0 in a way. There are many big flaws in a wooden way that makes me question it makes me worry about its longevity yeah what are these a bland made a story to a downright abysmal ecosystem if you're coming from genshin impact why are your expectations so high man like as if genshin impact storytelling is that good it's downright trash bro Obviously, the lore is good, but I genuinely doubt it's gonna be the same level of shit we got in Genshin, with Paimon being the main character and shit. I don't know, man, just my take. More ecosystem, but those are topics for another time, which I'll reserve a full breakdown of those. Can't wait for those. Yep. To focus on the recently hyped edition of Shiny Echo, a feature that has been over glorified by many. Current oh, games has been powered with nothing but races or introducing shiny versions of Echo, heralded as the pinnacle end game content for hardcore players. No, it isn't. What the fuck? Bro, <laughs> how is. <laughs> Shiny Echoes are just collectibles. They're not regarded as endgame content. Sure, they're good for streamers who just, uh, instead of picking mint, they finally get something to do, something to work towards, and they get to show their echoes off on stream. I guess it's mostly beneficial for them. But who the fuck talks about Shiny Echoes like they're endgame content? Like, what the fuck is that take? Like, bro, what are you on? And can I have some? And yeah, even I agree that this idea might sound incredible. No, that is not the idea. You should have this is fucking trash and i'm not afraid to say it shiny echoes are a half big attempt that barely scratched the surface of what could have been a rewarding aspect of the game and it really pissed me off how terribly they handle a system which i really wonder what he's getting at here I would outline why shiny echoes falls flat and how they can be improved upon this critique is not just about pointing out the flaws it's about just urging core game to fulfill the potential of whether all right as they should and as let's do your solution man critical discussion i believe it's crucial to spotlight this issue especially okay popular opinion teams kind of overly positive bro can't we all just get a little hyped for a game that's about to come out and ruin genshin impact's day or rather upcoming years you know why why are you so pressed about it man it's whatever Let's dive into why Shiny Echoes needs a serious overhaul so it can truly enrich the end game experience. But before we start, since I know some of you guys might be curious, no, I haven't played the beta at all. Oh, that's very telling. You haven't played the beta, but you're already making this in-depth video shitting on the Echo system. I don't know, man. It just seems like you're reaching a bit. But let's see what he's gonna say. Yeah, it doesn't take a fucking genius to see what's right or wrong about this game. As it stands, there are two ways to obtain shiny echoes and wooden waves. The first is by hunting them down at a predetermined spawn point. And I'm yep. just gonna say it, but who the fuck thought that was a good idea? The second method- All right, all right. I do agree. Like, I am gonna agree with that. I don't like how the shiny spawn location is just set in stone. Like, they, it should just be random. Genuinely, like, it should be a random spot in any of the places normal enemies spawn, you know? It shouldn't just be, oh, it's gonna spawn right there, right at this very specific point of the map. That just takes away the fun, honestly. I, I, I do have to agree with this point, genuinely. 
The second method is by purchasing them in the in-game shop using the game's currency. <laughs> that, oh, just wait. Can you that fucking sucks, by the way. If we have to actually just buy them from the shop, that sort of just takes away the entire point of a shiny, you know? If you can just pay to get it, like what? That won't feel special at all. You just guess how many shiny echoes can we get in this game? I'll get Wait. Wait, not every one of them has a shiny? What the fuck? More... It's not even more than 10? But if you guess more than 10, you're just fucking wrong. There are only six. Yeah, you heard me. What the fuck? Six shiny available. <laughs> Why? Just what? Why? Uh, Scarcity? I'm gonna have to agree here, you know. Six? What are we gonna do with a whole six shiny Pokemon? That is not good. That is... That is pretty bad, actually. It's not just baffling. It's frustrating. Why introduce a system with so much potential and yeah, I just restrict it to just a meager half dozen variants? Now, I'm just gonna be blunt and say it, but fuck this dog-ass system they implemented. They really just gave us the bare minimum, and I don't see anyone complaining about it. Well, people wouldn't complain about it because, like, there's barely any information about it on the internet. So this was the only post I was actually able to find on the whole shiny echo thing. This guy is saying that there are only six shiny echoes. However, this is CBT2. So I'm gonna hope, I'm gonna hope that they introduce some more in the actual release. Because if they don't, that's gonna be rather anticlimactic, you know? You don't want to hype a system like this up so much and then just not deliver on it. Like, what the fuck is that? Anyways, let's just continue. The shiny echoes don't come with any enhanced stats or even unique abilities. They're nothing more- Well, that's what they ha- What the fuck? Wait, this guy expected shiny echoes to be- their own fucking thing like it's so obvious this guy has never played pokemon for once in his life man what is that take more than a shiny facade well bro it's called a shiny for a reason what are you on about it's meant to be a shiny version of the original it's not that deep it really begs me the question what's the incentive to chase after them what they're cool like am i crazy they're just having a different skin of something is cool like bro why do skins sell like hotcakes in video games why does a skin in csgo cost four hundred thousand dollars and that's obviously fucking ridiculous but still people throughout the history of these live service games have always cared about cosmetics about looking a little different a little cooler you know i don't it's really not that deep you know <laughs> it's really not that deep bro but i guess this guy is fun at parties you know <laughs> his prior points were fine though like why did you just fumble the bag shining echo that boasts no more than a different color palette this is oh a feature God, that will bro. truly keep the end game players hope. It's a missed opportunity and what? oversight that feels like a just It's not end game once again. <laughs> regard player engagement. It's like core games is just throwing us a bone in okay. the time. And the whole community is slobbering on it like if it was a fucking car. Just what? imagine this scenario for me real quick. This guy's so community is slobbering on it like if it was a in car. I'm so impressed. You have finally captured a shiny echo. You start getting all excited and hyped up. Then to finally realize oh. it's a common class rarity. You'll just look stupid just like this guy. What? Yeah. Oh, dude. What? <laughs> this guy doesn't know about. I am so spewing. This is not why. So I, I still don't know the rates on these things. So it could be pretty common, but I'm excited. Let's absorb. It. Hopefully, it's a legendary. Bro, that got changed. <laughs> this, this guy is not even up to date. Their stats don't fucking matter. It becomes a literal skin. <laughs> Bro. No, now, no hate to Vulcans, but this clip just proves my point. It no, it doesn't. It only proves your ignorance. You didn't do your research because you can actually turn your well-statted echoes into shiny versions of them once you've captured one. But I guess we'll just ignore that, you know? I think green shiny echoes will hold minimum combat significance, leaving them to be outclassed by the gold counterpart. So you'll eventually if that were the case, it would have been the shittiest system ever, and I would wholeheartedly agree with this video, but it is not. You are spreading misinformation, bucko get in the future at some point the current shiny system baffles me it reeks of lack of effort and i can't believe a game like destiny 2 if first fucking 
fucking person shooter, mind you. A game that has only ever done the bare fucking minimum. Yet, right now, they just introduced shiny weapons into their latest pack. And believe it or not, they have more significant in-game value over this piece of shit shiny system for games made. Poor game. And it's time to do better. You I do think they will be able to expand on these six echoes. Like, I genuinely hope it doesn't launch like that because that's going to be scuffed as fuck. And they should genuinely just make the shiny spawn completely random. Like, this takes away all the fun, you know? You've crafted a beautiful, expansive world. And I really do applaud you for all the hard work you put into this game. Yep. When it comes to shiny echoes, you've literally dropped the ball. We need a system where shiny echoes are not only more widespread, but come with actual gameplay benefits. No, they shouldn't be widespread. That defeats the entire point, bro. They should spawn in random locations, but they should be rare. <laughs> That's the entire point of a shiny Pokemon. The entire inspiration for this whole system. It may be too late, but Curry Games should have- I doesn't get it. ...the shiny system before announcing the release date of Wither Wave. And to be completely honest, I feel that I should have made this video sooner. Even if this video gets to reviews, at the very least, I know I actually gave good feedback for this game. It's well, I can see that people uh, really liked your video, man. Hey, hey, at least you got 500 views, you know? That's better than nothing. <laughs> it's just too bad that I really thought the content creators covering this game would have been more critical by now. If anyone's gonna be critical, it's gonna be me. I myself already made a video why you shouldn't get Verena. Not because she's not powerful, but because she sort of just breaks the game. Now obviously Gen Alpha Meta Slaves lost their mind over it despite me putting a disclaimer specifically for them but they just ignore it you know it's it's fine whatever. But no nope, they're just too busy sucking each other off. Hell the fuck no <laughs> this guy who even makes these invisible watering waves videos where people just suck each other off like what the fuck holy shit this guy's out of touch there are genuinely not that many people making videos about this game you know like bro is actually complaining about nothing now addressing the issues of the current shiny ecosystem in weathering wave is pivotal to its longevity and player engagement here's how i envision a revamped system that all right rewards let's see this guy's big brain five head idea for the shiny ecosystem System. Sent the pinnacle of echoes, not just in rarity, but in potential. Let's say that when you capture a shiny echo, yep. you're also granted the power to select its base substat. Picture that you cast a shiny echo tailor made specifically for your, your DPS, and then pick the subsets that you want, like crit rate and attack, right from the start. That's customization. Well, because the system is not actually like he thinks it is, this instantly just becomes unnecessary, to be honest. Now that's a real rewarding endgame experience. This version of it's not endgame. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump off a cliff in Minecraft if this guy continues saying it's endgame content. Shiny Echoes will provide a tangible account progression, making each new acquisition a step forward in strengthening your character. It's cosmetic. And what if this Shiny Echoes will be upgraded to a higher rarity? Just imagine upgrading your Shiny Echo from common uh, class to a common class as you progress leveling your account, investing in its potential, just like you invested in your character. Now, regarding yeah, that's not how they work. Famed at the in-game shop. For me personally, those should just be ultimate scrap. And I All right, I do agree. I do agree. Buying shiny echoes from the shop is lame as shit. I'm not gonna defend that at all. I do think he has a good point on that regard. Like, paying to get something that makes yourself more special isn't special anymore. Everyone is the same. Okay, imagine like a weapon that is very rare to get. It has like a 0.001% chance of dropping from a very difficult boss. Getting that weapon will make that person feel very special and obviously make their friends, if they have them, also be jealous of them and <laughs> they'd want to farm that boss more. Essentially, that would make the weapon very special. Now, if you were to just suddenly start selling this weapon in the shop for $5 and everyone was just able to get it, everyone that paid money, then it completely loses its status of being a special thing. That's the whole reason people like shiny Pokemon and that's the whole reason people were excited for the shiny ecosystem. Because it simply makes you feel special you got something new, your friends are jealous of you, and that's what it's all about. You know the notion of removing the ability of just buying them might stir up some controversy, but just hear me out for a bit. If the goal of sure. an Echo is to truly represent a symbol of dedication and achievement, then their acquisition shouldn't be trivialized by a direct purchase. They should be earned, sought after, not yep. just added to a cart and checked out. And Definitely. In the end, people still want to have Agree. the ability to purchase them, then maybe just give those shiny Echoes few rated staff that are not too over the top, so that way they're considered banned. But 
certainly at the end people still want to have the ability to purchase them then maybe just give those shiny echoes to raise that that are not too over the top so that no that isn't a problem certainly not consider god not a problem for their fixed spawn point why not just scatter them across the map let the hunt be as dynamic yep. and bad as the world of wilderness definitely no this change alone will reinvigorate pursuit of making each discovery a new delight rather than a scheduled stop last yes that point is good we need randomness when it comes to shiny collectibles in a game regarding the small number of shiny we don't need it in an elaborate palette for every echo just put a random color for each one some all right that's i don't agree with that take because like if it's genuinely just random colors like some are gonna just look like complete shit if the entire color scheme is completely random some echoes will look worse than the normal ones <laughs> in fact most probably would it's the simple changes that catches the eye imagine yeah. a creepy looking echo with an unexpected color like pink i bet that if that were to happen yeah. almost everyone would try to hunt it just for how goofy it looks now implementing Maybe. these changes will send them to players that every shiny echo really does matter not just as a collectible but as a functional and evolving part of their yeah. acquisition the long-term gains of these improvements if implemented will be substantial by incentivizing players to keep hunting and upgrading their shiny echo whether in waves you see a high link tail tension and engagement this isn't about immediate gratification it's about building a legacy for the game that keeps players coming back and yeah yep. i do recognize that the changes i'm proposing aren't a fix 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 game development is complex you know if only more than half of your arguments actually made sense i know you're a passionate player you want this game to be the best it can but at the same time, you didn't even do your research and are just talking out of your ass and you're complaining about nothing. And these- I mean, not nothing, but like 50% of what you're complaining about isn't even a problem. Warhols will require careful planning and resources, but this investment, if made, will speak to a commitment to quality and player satisfaction. And that's truly sure. what I only want. Now, what I'm about to say will get me a lot of heat. But to all the content creators covering Wither Waves, please do better. Fuck you, man. I do my best out here. But the thing this guy really has to realize is the fact that the game isn't even out yet. So, like, it's really risky to complain about something that isn't even released yet. So you don't know much aside from hearsay, if you know what I mean. Hell, a lot of things are probably gonna get changed in the final release. And so content creators just don't feel the need to, you know, do that. There's barely any game to criticizing something you don't know much about. And ironically, that is exactly what makes this a bad video. It's not that everyone wants to shill for the game, it's that there's barely anything else you could do. Unless it's just a guide, of course. Take this game. You guys have the power to actually... What are the other problems? ...and their concerns or suggestions so they can be heard by current game. And ideally, they will listen to us back and actually improve the game. I honestly cannot believe that there's so many of you that are so powerful that her games will fix things on their own. Now, to all the Ooh. Genshin Impact players that are watching this <laughs> video, I expect the same, if not even more, of an uproar. You guys are probably the loud... Yeah, right. Get the f okay out of here bro you expect an uproar from the genshin community i've said it before and i'll say it again they don't care what they are served they are content with nothing and because of that they're still gonna be number one or two on the gotcha revenue chart like what is this guy on about the entire video is so misinformed it's insane the genshin community likes slopping anything they get up and praising it being grateful they defend the game for free hoyoverse doesn't have some secret contract to paying these multi-billion dollar company defenders well at least i don't think they do maybe one day another contract gets leaked you know but it has such a cultish community that people just don't care what kind of update genshin actually gives them the ones that actually complain are the minority of the minority which as you can imagine has the least influence in the community I've ever seen. And yet, you guys are about to go to another game that is going to fumble on simple things just like Genshin did in the past. This is not the time what? to be like what? It's a time to be demanding. That's how you actually get things done if you want changes to be made. The points I've laid out in this video are just my personal concern. I truly only it's misinformed. For this game. It's misinformed personal concerns, bro. Best for this game. I'm sure you want this game to actually be great. Potential to be different. 
all the other current God games at this moment. But unless all of us are pretty Nah, it won't be different from Genshin. It's literally just Genshin but with difficult content, bro, let's be honest. So this game will never win big. And if I have to be called a hater every time my videos come out just for giving my honest feedback, then fuck it. I'd rather be as transparent as possible than to be someone who's delusional and pretend this game yeah. is the holy girl of God's game. And you definitely should say it like it is. But when your takes are this bad, this misinformed, well, people obviously will get mad at this video and start disliking it, making fun of you and shit. Like, maybe you just wanted some views. I don't really know. But yeah. With this, I conclude the end of the, my video. This is my first time making a video. I will appreciate it if you give it a sincere. What the fuck? What do you mean it's your first time, bro? You posted your first video like five years ago. And in recent times, you did post some Genshin content, you know? Pretty crazy, I know. Stop. You think the Shenny system needs changes? Or is it fine for you just the way it is? Man? Nah, it's, it's, it's bad. And if you are looking more it's bad because it's underdeveloped. It's not bad because they don't have extra abilities and shit like that that you're advocating for. It's not bad because there aren't 1 million variants of shinies in the game, you know? Right now it's bad because as you mentioned, there are only 6 shiny echoes in the game. And of those 6, some can be bought in the shop, which is really stupid as I said before, and some can be found in the open world at fixed locations, which is really lame. As you can imagine, obviously. They need to start by adding a shiny version to every single echo and remove the ability to buy them from the shop. Just find them in the open world and we're all good, you know? Find them in random locations, not in fixed locations and we're all good but those are just my thoughts i am going to have to unfortunately dislike this video even though i agree with some of his points i just wish the video was actually researched you know and not just talking out of your ass those really aren't high expectations you know want to start off by mentioning that this video was made during the beta before the recent change to the shiny echo system yes i know they made it to become a skin so we can equip it to non-shiny variants then why don't you remove that part from the video like it's not rocket science you just cut that shit out like what the fuck like what kind of excuse even is that even though it's good news it doesn't mean they could have done it in a better approach instead of as treat it as a quick fix in my eyes it's just a shame because shiny echoes could have been more than just a skin that's my two cents on the matter I mean, it's obvious this guy has never played Pokemon for once in his life, but yeah. Mid-video, some good takes, some bad. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, to be honest. Only quality content here, folks. Subscribe, please.